He said, and behold, among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man, what? Void of understanding. Didn't know this, what you're learning today. He was just a young man, as most young men are. Do you know you can be a 60-year-old young man? I remember a guy, <laughs> it was funny, it was about 20 years ago. He got into a fight over a woman, and he was 50 years old. And all he could tell me, he said, I can't believe I waited till I was 50 years old to get in a fight over a woman. A physical fight. He got beat down, too. It wasn't even close. But he lacked understanding. And this is what this young man was. He lacked understanding. He said, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a what? And, a, and what? Subtle of heart. Smooth. Attire of a harlot. Anybody know what a harlot is? Do you know what a prostitute wears? Very little. Very little. Not too much. Do you know kind of the outfit? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen a prostitute? Yes. Tight short revealing clothes. Revealing clothes that you see in the church. See, see, there used to be a difference between the harlot and church people. I went to a church, swear I was in a club. See, it's not where you are, it's who you are. When you are a harlot six days a week, you can follow up in the church if you want to, but you don't know how to undress. Because the spirit of Jezebel is in your soul. And you just become, I'm just Jezebel in the church. I'm not saying you all, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Okay? Now, she's subtle. The spirit is subtle. Now, and, and how can you be subtle in verse 11? Verse 11 says, she's loud and stubborn. This is the spirit of Jezebel. You can be subtle. That's just because you're sneaky. <laughs> You can be loud and stubborn and sneaky at the same time. I got plans I ain't telling y'all about. But, oh, I'm going to shout at I'm going to shout at you. I'm not going to do what you say. It's all about me. She's loud and stubborn. Exist, understand that's the spirit of Jezebel. We okay? Uh, where are we going? Okay. Her feet abide not in her house. Always ripping and running. Has no foundational principles. She's just out there doing what she wants to do because she's loud and stubborn. Now she's without. Now is she without. Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner for who? Those who lack understanding. And you know she's lying in the street not just for young men. She's lying for young women too. And this is what we're going to get into how it's not just the physical sexual seduction. It's another type of seduction that she's getting our sisters with. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day I have paid my vows. Everything is okay. I know the, the things, you know, I know they've been telling you don't do things like this, but I took care of all that. You know, you used to be a good boy. You have been brought up and was a good boy, and you didn't hang around with harlots. Oh, she was trying to convince this guy. Don't worry about any of that stuff your, po your folks used to tell you. He said, I paid my vows. He said, therefore, come I forth to meet thee. Diligently to seek thy face, I have found thee. That's the subtleness. She's so smooth, you don't even know you're being picked up. She just came and said, oh, you know, you are, I, I just never met anybody like you. Stubborn, because God said, you don't approach anybody like that. Anybody? Don't ask that question. We have known women who are proud, loud, stubborn, and subtle. And flattery is one of the tricks. Oh, you, I wish I had somebody like you. You are just so wonderful. Jezebel, a woman of God would never say that to another man, who would never say that, to, especially to a married man. Why would you do that to somebody? Jezebel will, because Jezebel is trying to destroy what you have. She, she's subtle, she got a plan. And we just so silly that we don't see 
the spirit of Jezebel. After the day, you're going to recognize her. Amen. Just don't go out and call people Jezebel, okay? <laughs> Just say, spirit, hmm. <laughs> Because if you, if, you, if you recognize the spirit, you know how to deal with a spirit. He said, resist the devil and you'll flee. You won't embrace Jezebel because you think she's holy. See, that's something else Jezebel is going to, we will see. Jezebel is a very religious person. She has ministries. Jezebel will, will, will come at you in the name of the Lord. But let's keep reading. She said, look, look, young man, I came to look for you, only you. And these dumb men out here thinking that's true. You're not the first. You won't be the last. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works and fine linens of Egypt, have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Ho, oh, mercy. Brothers, you ever been over there? It's called an apartment. See, there's no covering in an apartment. For the good man is not at home. Daddy ain't here. Husband ain't here. There is no covering. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and I will, he will come home at the day appointed. I've been studying him, so I know how much money it took, so I know how long he's going to be gone, so we got time. He's at work. He won't get off till 6. Mercy. And this was written 3,000 years ago. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver as a bird ha hastes to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his what? Life. Now, you see how this lady used the physical seduction for, for the, for, you know, the, we won't read the rest of it, that, that, that you know, what happened, we understand. And, and, and what happened, it was for his death. Jezebel works this way, not just on the physical. She wants to seduce you so she can attack you, so the soul tie can be established. Then that spirit wears you out. Thank you for taking the time to tune us in today. We pray that you've been blessed by the word. If you would like more of these sermons, Please check us out on our YouTube page, download our podcast, and like and share us on Facebook and Twitter. May God bless you today and forevermore.